A very good morning to all. Let's begin today's class with the new geography chapter that is the hot deserts Sahara. In today's video, we are going to study the very first topic of the chapter which is the Sahara desert, a hot desert. Sahara in Arabic language means desert. A desert is an area which is characterized by the low rainfall means it receives very less rainfall, scanty vegetation, less vegetation and extreme temperature. That means if we are talking about the Sahara desert, that means we are talking about the extremely hot temperature. Sahara desert lies in the African continent. It is world's largest desert and has an area around 8.54 million square kilometers. If we compare it with the area of India, it is more than three times of India's area. That means India has 3.28 million square kilometers and the area of Sahara Desert is 8.54 million square kilometers. Sahara Desert touches 11 countries that is Chad, Algeria, Egypt, Libya, Mali, Mauritania, Morocco, Niger, Sudan, Tunisia and Western Sahara. The climate of Sahara Desert is scorching hot and parched dry. The climate is hot because the Sahara Desert lies near the equator. Also, it receives very less rainfall due to which the soil does not get any moisture and the soil breaks down into very smaller particles and converted into sand so that so that's why the climate is or scorching hot and parched dry also the sky is cloudless and clear because there is less water due to which the evaporation does not takes place and if there is no evaporation the clouds does not form the temperature during the day may soar as high as 50 degrees celsius the nights may be freezing cold with the temperature 0 degrees. Now our next topic is flora and fauna. Flora means vegetation and fauna means animals. Vegetation in the Sahara Desert includes cactus, date palms and acacia. Acacia is babul. These plants grow not only in the Sahara Desert but in all the hot deserts because they require less water to grow. In some places there are oases found. Oases are the green islands which are surrounded by the date palms and oases are kind of a depression where the water is filled or you can say that where the water is available or the land is fertile so that the plants grow around it. Camels, hyenas, foxes, scorpions and also many varieties of snakes and lizards a prominent animal species living there. Our next topic is life of the people in Sahara Desert. The people here are mainly tribes such as the Bedouins and the Dwarves who rear livestock such as goat, sheep, camels and horses. These animals are of very much use because they provide them with milk, hides. Hides means skin from which they make leather for belts, slippers, water bottles. Hair is used for mats, carpets, clothes and blankets. Also the people here grow different varieties of crops such as rice, wheat, barley and beans. They also wear heavy robes by because it protects them against the dust storms and hot winds. Thank you all. Kindly revise the chapter.